In September 2022, train controller version 10 was released. And it seemed like a good moment to renew a video series that I did a couple of years ago and start from scratch a whole new series. Welcome to video one, where we will install and drive the first train. Let's head to frywald.com and here we see it. New version 10 is released. Click the read more link to yeah, have some info on what the new functions are. But better of course, uh, why read a lot if we can try it out? We can go to the download page and simply download the gold, silver or bronze version. If you are new to train controller, uh, you may wonder what are the differences between these three versions? Well, uh, there is this product page, let's go there. In the middle we see model railroad computer control and there uh, we can read a lot more about what train controller is and here at the bottom we see these three versions. Uh, you can click these links and read more about that specific version. And then again uh, scroll all the way down to the bottom. There is this blue link and if we click that uh, we get a table that shows the functions of the bronze, silver and gold versions. And yeah, you can see here more about the differences between these versions. Then also here you can download the demo and of course the best way to try it out is to download this, install it and have fun with it. If you already know what you like to have and are ready to buy, go to the shop and fill in from this drop down the country and then you get the prices of the different versions and also we see that a whole range of upgrades is available well let's go ahead and download it and install okay so i downloaded the gold version i now have a setup file which i will click and see what happens Ah, two languages, well let me in this case choose English, uh, next, uh, agree with everything, next, I can make a choice between 32-bit or 64-bit version, well I have no reason not to do the 64-bit version, so I'll do that, the default location is fine with me, next, um, yeah I can click or unclick a couple of uh, options. Let's just do everything, click next and then start and see what happens. Ah, that was quick. Yeah, I have a new icon over there. Let's start the app. And I can click this away, I think. Yeah, it's already starting up. And there we have it. In case you don't have a license yet, then it will open up this pop-up screen and there you can either enter your license code here or click to continue in demo mode. At the very first start, the program opens this demonstration layout and of course in future videos we'll have a look how we can create switch panels like this ourselves. But first, if we want to control trains, we have to connect to our digital system. And to do that, let's go to the railroad menu and set up digital system. That opens up this pop-up window and here we can click change. And then in this drop down, we have to find our system and connect it. How to connect the system depends on the system. In many cases, like for instance with Digitrucks or Loconet and also many others, you have to uh, enter a, a port, a communication port address uh, like this. And how to find such port is rather easy. If you uh, right click on your Windows icon, then you have a device manager and click on that and there you should see your ports and there you can read the port number uh, of the device that you have connected. In my case I have an AK 
ECOS, uh, EZU ECOS, and that is connected via a home network, and it has an IP address. I read that on the ECOS, and I fill it in over here, and then it should connect. So let's try that out. I click OK. Uh, I click OK again, and now here at the bottom we see uh, two green LEDs. That means, yeah, I should now be connected, so let's try this out. OK, first test uh, to see if the connection really works is easy. Just power off the module. And yeah, I see on the ECOS that it switches off and back on again. Test succeeded. Let's control a train. We already have a couple of trains available in this demo layout. Let's right click a train and then go to properties. And there we can set the train address. Um, my train is on address 33. So let's enter that over here. And then that should be taken care of. What we need now is a train window to control the train. Let's go here to the window menu. Find a train window over here. There's this little arrow. I can click it to see what we already have. Oh, we already have two freight train windows. Well, let's just open one. Or if we don't have those, uh, click on new train window. Here it is. Oh, that is a tiny window. Let me enlarge that a bit. This is a train control window. Uh, if I click this uh, picture of the train, I can uh, select the train, one of the three that we have here available, to decide which train I want to control with this train window. Um, the train, uh, the pop-up says, says this is address 33. Yes, that is the train that we just uh, gave its correct address. Let's try it out. I should be able to uh, change the speed like I'm doing now. And yes, I can see on my ECOS that my controller is rotating and the speed dial on the ECOS is also moving. So that seems to work. And I can also switch the light on and off. Yeah, that also seems to work. Oh, and there's also a function, uh, function one. Yeah, that also seems to work. Well, a great job done. We have installed Train Controller 10 and we connected a digital system and we can control a train. In the next video, let's have a little look how we can control turnouts on a switch panel.